We're now seeing insight through Lisa Page's uh, testimony, through Peter Strzok's discussion of this, that it was the Department of Justice basically saying there's no way Hillary Clinton is going to be charged here because we're mm -hmm. not going to use the uh, standard of intent. The FBI just completely went against protocol when they would interview her with uh, fact witnesses yep. in the room and, and not give her any other thing. Newly released transcripts of closed door testimony by former FBI agent Peter Strzok revealing the Obama Justice Department negotiated an agreement with Hillary Clinton's lawyers giving the FBI limited access to Clinton Foundation emails. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is live following all of this for us from London. Catherine, good morning. Thank you, Sandra. Good morning. According to the newly public transcript, Strzok was pressed by the FBI about access to Hillary Clinton's personal servers that were at the heart of the Bureau's case into whether she mishandled classified information as Secretary of State. And Strzok told House investigators, quote, we were not, we did not have access. My recollection is that the access to those emails were based on consent that was negotiated between the Department of Justice attorneys and counsel for Clinton. Strzok was also pressed on his dismissal from the special counsel Russia probe over his anti-Trump text. Strzok told lawmakers Robert Mueller never questioned him about political bias. Republican John Radcliffe led the line of questioning, quote, did you have any discussion with special counsel Mueller or the other attorney about whether or not those text messages reflected bias or prejudice against Donald Trump? And Strzok replied, no. In a statement, Strzok's attorney told reporters that his client has always called for the transcript's release and that the former senior FBI agent is pleased that his side of the story is now public, Sandra. Right, and Catherine, you also have some news on the Steele dossier as a Florida court has unsealed records mm -hmm. in a defamation suit against BuzzFeed. That's right. Well, according to the newly released deposition, Sandra, an aide to Senator John McCain gave the unverified dossier to BuzzFeed, as well as about a dozen reporters here in Washington during the presidential transition. For nearly two years, David Kramer, who was at one time at the State Department, refused interviews with Fox News and our questions over his handling of the dossier, which came to his attention during a Canadian security conference. The dossier was funded by Fusion GPS, whose co-founder is Glenn Simpson, Kramer told the court that he believed he was singled out by its author, former British spy Christopher Steele, to lend credibility to the Democratic-funded opposition research. Quote, I think they felt a senior Republican was better to be the recipient of this rather than a Democrat, because if it were a Democrat, I think that the view was that it would have been dismissed as a political attack. The former head of the FBI's counterintelligence division, Bill Priestap, also gave this declaration to the court that confirms the FBI got the first 33 pages of the dossier from Senator John McCain in December of 2016. This declaration also confirms that President Obama was briefed on the contents of the dossier in January of 2017, about a week and a half before the inauguration, Sandra. Wow. Okay, Catherine Harris. That is a wow. Take in there. Thank you. <laughs>